cues and body cues um, a little too much and we don't think about motion cues or we don't teach our dogs to read our motion cues to, to mean what we want them to mean, all right? So for example, I'm gonna take this jump and um, I'm gonna put it low because it doesn't matter. I just wanna go over the upright. And when we think about how we teach our dogs to take a jump, think about what we do. We either have the dog on leash, okay? Or we have a cookie and we're luring them jump and we're doing that and then they get a cookie, right? Well, the problem is, what's my dog doing? He's looking up at my hand. He's not really focused on the jump. I'm luring him over the jump with a cookie and he got in. he's not jumping very well because <laughs> he's focused on my hand. All right, okay, Eric. So he's learning to follow my hand as I'm luring him. He's not learning, um, he's not learning to take the jump. He's just learning to, to lure over a jump, okay? Um, instead, what I would like my dog to learn is that there's an obstacle in front of you, good boy, and I'm moving towards it, it means take it. I shouldn't have to verbally tell you to take it, although I probably will, and I, there's, I shouldn't have to give a body cue to take it, okay? So oftentimes I see people doing this and, and like trying to get the dog over a jump. Well, if my arm is out this far, my dog should probably be 20 or 30 feet away from me. When my arm is low, it means come in close. And as my arm comes up away from me, it means go further out away from me. So if I need to have my arm out here like this to get my dog to take a jump, guess what? I don't have anywhere, I don't have any way to send them any further away from me, okay? So if I'm just walking with my dog, I'm gonna let him get a cookie just so he can get off of me, and I move forward, yes, okay? And he chooses to go over the bar, I am just going to mark it with my marker cue that means you can get your cookie and I'm gonna to toss a treat for him, okay? Yes, good job. I'm not telling him to take the jump with, my, with a verbal cue. I am not signaling him to take a jump with body cues. My motion is saying, I'm moving forward, take what's in front of you. Yes, good boy. And you can see he's like, oh, that's a fun game. Yes, good boy. Now, if he was to come around and jump with me, because some dogs would, because he's looking at my hand, I just would, and we're like, come on, buddy, let's try again. He's gonna come back again, and move towards it again. Yes, good boy. And then he gets that cookie, all right? So you can do things, we'll do a couple off to this side just to balance it. Yes, good job. That's where he's learning, if I'm moving, taking it. Now I can put another jump, and I can keep moving, and I, he can do a jump, and I, he could get a cookie, and I continue moving and he does another jump and he gets a cookie all without me ever verbally saying jump or using a body cue to tell him to jump. Only my motion is telling him. Now you wanna make sure you're working the balance of that, which also means when I decelerate, it means stop, don't take something, all right? So, as I'm moving forward, I'm gonna stop. Oh, no cookie for that, because he just kept going. Okay. <laughs> now he's like, I think I'm supposed to take this jump. Give me a break. Just try it again. I'm going to do a little short first. Yes, good boy. So he, I stopped, he checked in. I dropped a cookie and rewarded him for that because he didn't continue past me stopping to take the jump. Because I wasn't verbally telling him to take the jump. I wasn't giving him body cues to take the jump. And my motion was not telling him to go to the jump. It stopped moving forward. Therefore, he should not have taken the jump. Oh boy. Good job. And then you want to make sure you're balancing it out. Okay. Good job. I keep moving. Yes, he takes the jump. I come back towards it. I stop moving. Yes. He gets a cookie for not taking the jump. So he's just, okay. He's learning to read my motion. All right, so that's something you can do and work on your motion cues. Now, let's say I want to work on verbal and body cues for this jump, okay? So there's the jump. I want to take my motion out of it and I just want to work him going to the jump with a verbal cue and a body cue, okay? So all that's going to be is that, okay? That's my forward sin cue and I'm going to tell him to go take the jump. Hold on, I'm going to move these little cones out of the way. When I do that because he is leaving me to go take that jump, I'm actually going to toss the reward so it's gonna come away from me. Okay, here, good job. So he's gonna start off by my side. 
You can either sit or stand, and you can start pretty close if you need to. Good job. Yes. Good boy. I marked it with yes. He gets a cookie. Okay. I'm going to come back again. Go a little bit further. Jump. Get it. Good boy. Get it also means he can get his cookie. Okay. Good boy. And I'm going to see how far back you can go. Jump. Get it. Good boy. Oh, that was a hard one to see. Good boy. Awesome. But you can see now I took now I took my motion out of it. Um, and because I wasn't moving, he needed verbal cues and body cues to go take that jump. And you would start really close if you needed to. Jump, cookie, right? Notice the reward is not a lure. So a lot of people would do this. They would start and they'd go, jump. And then the dog takes the jump because they're following the cookie. Now is the dog actually learning to take the jump? Or are they going to the cookie and the jump just happens to be in their way? Well, that's option number two, right? Dog isn't actually learning to go take the jump. Okay, okay. That's one of the reasons when I toss a cookie, it would be back as the dog would be coming back towards me. So it's not luring the dog over the jump. The dog is choosing to go over the jump and then the cookie happens. Jump, get the boy. Also, because I'm not moving, it doesn't mean we're gonna keep going that direction. If I'm slowing down or stationary and I cue my dog, it does mean take the jump and come back towards me. So I don't want to undo him understanding that by having him go chase a cookie away from me when I'm standing still, all right? That got pretty detailed, but I just want you to think about verbal cues, body cues, motion cues, and how you can separate those things and teach them um, what it is that they're supposed to be doing. But making sure generally when you're handling your dog, your verbal cues, body cues, and motion cues are all working together um, to be giving the dog the information what they're supposed to be doing instead of, you know, me telling the dog to jump as I've already turned my shoulders and leaving, um, you know, um, and then the dog has to kind of pick, uh-oh, am I supposed to take the jump or am I not? Because one thing is saying that, but two things are doing that, so therefore I don't think that's supposed to happen. Don't make the dog think so much. Give them very clear cues. And if they don't do something correctly, go, hmm, I think maybe I wasn't clear enough with my information and I can um, give better cues myself, okay? I hope that clarifies the different ways that you communicate with your dog and how you can apply some of those things to training.